Then I saw another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. Revelation 14 verse 6. This week is the last week of the 100 Days of Prayer series, and we've looked at so many topics, so many things we sometimes take for granted that are of great significance. The Revival and Reformation team has encapsulated this week's readings in one theme, I will go. Chloe went to her neighbors, Jelani went to his friends, Stefan went to his co-workers, Sonia went to her classmates, O'Shane went to his city, now, join with me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's words, leverage the power of prayer, while I tell you how I will go to my world. God bids you with one hand. Faith takes hold of his mighty arm, and with the other hand, love reaches perishing souls. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Follow him. Walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Walk even as he walked. This is the will of God, even your sanctification. The work you have to perform is to do the will of him who sustains your life for his glory. If you labor for yourselves, it can profit you nothing. To labor for the good of others, to be less self-caring and more in earnest to devote all to God, will be acceptable to him and be returned by his rich grace. Testimonies, volume two, page 170. Seventh-day Adventists have the unique prophetic calling to proclaim the three angels' messages to the entire world in preparation of the second coming of Jesus. These messages can be summarized like this. One, God is your creator. You are loved and desired by him. Accept his gift of grace and the judgment will be in your favor. 2. This world with all its anti-God systems is corrupted, unreliable and fallen. Put your trust in God and God alone. Satan, the originator of all death, misery, selfishness and pain, sin and all who embraced his falsehoods will be destroyed soon in the second coming. If you put your trust in God, in your Savior, Jesus Christ, He will be able to save you, and you will live with Him eternally. Now, are you willing to go the extra mile for Jesus? Are you willing to go to the world, every boy and every girl, and make them know that God's love is true? As you serve, will you sing all the praises to your King and put your trust in Him? It is imperative that we do not believe in the things of this earth and that we do not get too comfortable because the only position of full comfort we should ever have is looking in the eyes of Jesus and saved in his arms. When we are wrapped up, tied up and tangled up in him, it will show. The world will see our good works and glorify our heavenly father. Now, how can we go to the world and not have the message in our hearts and on our minds? How will we tell others of Christ if we don't know him for ourselves? If you are connected to the wrong source, you will emit the wrong kind of energy. And if you are connected to no source at all, you will emit no energy. But friends, when you are connected to the light, the source that is Jesus, everybody will know and come to know of him because he is the source of all sources. Now let's pray for a few things. We pray for God to help you and your family to fully embrace the prophetic Adventist missionary identity of Revelation 14. We pray for a willing heart to go into the mission field, whether that is local or in a foreign country. Pray for all who are still suffering from the coronavirus. Pray for their healing and for an end of the pandemic. We pray for a mobile clinic in San Francisco which sets up on church properties to provide free dental and vision care, plus free medical screening. Please ask God to bless the patients with both physical and spiritual healing. We pray for individuals who have put off their decision to be baptized. We pray that they will fall in love with Jesus and make a complete decision to surrender to him. 
because that's the best thing that they could ever do. Let us pray. Dear kind and compassionate Father, thank you for everything you have done. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to worship you and to praise you. We understand that the series is coming to an end, but please help us that we may find things in our lives, things in the Bible that will help to keep us pushing, help to keep us motivated so that we may continue to serve you and continue to stay powerful. We help, we ask that you will help us to continue to spread your word no matter what. In your name's honor and glory. Amen. We want to thank you for watching all our 99, almost 100 days of our 100 days of her series. And we invite you to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And don't forget to follow us on all our socials for more inspiring messages, whether 100 days of hers or other activities we have at Shorted SDA. Follow us on all our socials at Shorted SDA Church. Thank you for watching.